Blitzier Stakes, and they bounding away. Delta Queen's on the left-hand side, a length off them. Tucking in behind Slalom Queen, who got a flyer out the gates. From here to eternity, he's going to tow them towards the centre. Stella acts only a length off them between runners. There's a line of four vying for that early position, only two lengths separating them. At the seven peg, Venetia just raced onto the heels of from here to eternity for a stride or two. Sophia Ehrens tucked up four lengths off them, ruled the runway further back, and then Cavian's Cara. At the 400 metre marker, and Delta Queen comes around in the yellow to take on Slalom Queen. Slalom Queen in the blue on the left. Delta Queen's between them. Vernici is starting to look very dangerous on the right-hand side. Slalom Queen coming to the 200. Delta Queen's under pressure. And Vernici now coming home very strongly. She's starting to come home hard. Slalom Queen on the inside, but Vernici's feeding her focus, and she's got her eyes on the prize. Slalom Queen. Then came Delta Queen and Stella Act. A big victory for number eight, Vernici. Unbeaten, Vernici, two from two. Gareth Van Zale, the Versen Jetterex. And she just seemed to run onto the hills at about the 4.50. She was travelling so well. And then when Warren Kennedy brought her around, she started to strut her stuff with a stylish victory. Well done to the Kestorm Investments. Kenneth Pillay, bred by the Clarbeflay stud. Gareth Van Zale versus Vernici, the Versen Jetterex. So up front... Delta Queen and Slalom Queen having a battle, but all the while Vernici just starts to warm up. You'll see she does start to get to the inside. She lugs across for a few strides, but she takes over with full authority the last 150 metres. And Vernici, number eight, two from two, back to the studio. The Group 3 Strelitzia Stakes of 2020 has gone the way of Gareth Finzale and a horse called Vernici. She's a two-year-old daughter of Versen Getrix out of a Captain Almere, bred by Clava Flay Stud. And if she didn't impress you today, well then uh, I'm not quite sure what it takes to impress you. But let's see if uh, Warren Kennedy, he's here to join us. And he rode this uh, filly on debut and Warren... First of all, congratulations. Uh, secondly, tell us about the race because I, I don't want to say it made them look ordinary because they're all nice horses, but wow, the way she quickened up and went past them, Dees and I were, were speechless. Yeah, Warren, thanks very much for that, but yeah, she was impressive today. I said to go as I came back, you know, there was a lot of speed around me and I was quite happy to take a little sit on her. But um, looking for cover, she actually dug her toes in and, and, and lost ground. So I picked up a little bit earlier than what I wanted to but her response was immediate and it was, it was a fantastic response and she just really ran past him and it was a great win. What stage did you think to yourself, well, here we go, obviously you can see Anton's there and uh, uh, Keegan. What stage did you think, well, I'm in with a big chance? Yeah, look, I, I saw Anton and Keegan starting to uh, build a tussle there between them and uh, I came along the outside and this filly was really reeling them in hand over fist and I thought, you know what, I'm always going to get them and always going to be running away from them towards the end. So, you know, she was a great win from a great turn of foot. Well done to Michelle and Kenneth, to Gareth, great tanning feet, you know. I, I worked on Tuesday and she put up phenomenal work and I said to Gareth, Yo, I'm glad I'm riding her. You know, so, um, yeah, big thanks to Gareth. He, he, he had to wait for me and a little bit of hoo-ha, but I, I, I made sure I rode this one. And uh, he's been very patient, you know, I ride for Gavin and, and Gavin gets first call. So Gareth's, Gareth's been a true soldier and thank you very much for keeping this one for me and I'm um, glad to bring it home. It's all about teamwork and it's, it's all about, uh, you know, doing all the right things and well done to you. And uh, long may it continue. And there's a memento. Uh, if you'll just uh, we pick up that, uh, it is empty, but no doubt you'll fill it with something enjoyable when you get home. But uh, that's your prize. And uh, congratulations. Really fantastic win. Thanks very much, Warren. Thank you to everyone involved and to Winning Form as well. Thanks. Here we go. That's Warren Kennedy, proudly sponsored by Winning Form. Those are the mementos for the uh, Grade 3 Strelitzia Stakes. Gareth, when Dees and I did the preview, he waxed lyrical, which is fantastic. He, he shared the information. And uh, she's really a filly that's made a lot of people stand up and take notice today. Well, well done. done.
Thank you so much, Warren. Let's talk about uh, the owners, first of all, because uh, they, they no doubt would be at home and celebrating and having a wonderful time. Tell us a bit more about them and, and how they got involved, and, and obviously you've been with them on the phone already. Yeah, you know, I mean, Kenneth um, Pele, Vishal Garao, and, um, you know, their wives. It was um, Milo's birthday a, a day ago, and, you know, um, Carmen's about three days ago, so, you know, a happy birthday to, to them belatedly. And, um, you know, to Kenneth Vishal, um, sure, you know, they supported my, my dad and myself um, really strong. And um, it's just so gratifying to, to be in this um, winner's box of a Group 3 for them uh, with this filly. Um, you know, they, they, they stepped up for me, got me out of a position which I mentioned in a maiden victory. And it's just, it's just amazing, you know, it's, it's really tough times we're going through. And to have a filly, a, a, a shining light pop up like this in, in, in really challenging times is... This gives us a bit of hope, so a big thank you to them, to um, all the owners who have supported me through this time. Yeah, uh, what's she like to work with at home? Is she a troublesome filly? Is she easy to, to sort of work with? Uh, is she workmanlike? How does she... Uh, these are the horses we know that every trainers dream of and, and to get up in the morning and go to work for, but what's she like? Is she easy to work with? Yeah, she's, she's, um, she's different to, to the regular horse, Warren, in that um, she's got a presence and a way about her. So she's cooperative. She's, she's got a bit of an awkward um, head carriage in her work. But, um, you know, after she worked so well, which Warren alluded to in the week, um, she just came back to the ring and stood and stared into the distance with her ears pricked for, for almost a minute, which is quite a long time. So, you know, she's, she's, she's got grace about her. Um, and a big, big well done to, to Birch Brothers, to Colin, We've kept in touch through a career, and um, you know it, it's it's a great uh, effort from them in breeding her. A well, hearty congratulations to you, Gareth. There's your momentum. Uh, it's a lovely uh, a um, lovely prize for you to take home, and uh, it's uh, I'm not going to lift it for you. You'll have to do it yourself and pose for the camera. And uh, just well done, and congratulations to you and the whole team. Really, really exciting time. Thanks, Warren. And um, as Don, uh, Warren alluded to, it's been a team effort um, to the staff. Um, they've really been strong throughout, and. Um, Melindy especially, but um, Donovan, he's done a lot of work on this filly, helping Warren out when he hasn't been there, and ov obviously to Warren as well. Um, it's uh, having quality riders like this, which help um, produce the goods on race day too. Congratulations, well done. Thank you. There we go, that's Gareth Fanzale, and uh, yeah, absolutely wonderful. Wonderful to hear about Venici, wonderful to hear about the owners. Let's give you the results. So Venici's one, second was Slalom Queen, third was number one, Delta Queen, and fourth, number three, Estella Act. That's the numbers that you're going to need. Eight, two, one, and three. And uh, yeah, uh, uh, these two-year-olds, as we all know, they improve at different times. And Venici is clearly going about it the right way. And some exciting times lie ahead. That's it. The first of the features. We'll be up next for race number seven, the Godolphin Barb Stakes, brought to you by Independent Media in a little while.